teams are ready, and so are we. Hi, everyone. With Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment, I'm Mike Emery. Tonight's matchup will feature some thrilling talent. The contest tonight between Seattle and the Chicago Blackhawks. Nearing the start, here is Eddie Olchek. This is the game you mark on your calendar with a big red circle with a thick, fat marker. The fans are pumped and the players are ready to rock. Let's get it on. Jonathan Taves, three Stanley Cups, two Olympic gold medals. Before he was named captain in Chicago in 2008, they didn't even have a captain. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Ambrick, this playoff game has begun. Steps in from the neutral zone. Shutout positioning by Taves. Swept on to Hoffman. Terrific determination by Alex Steen. Right to the point. That's why. Can he clear? Snapping a pass to Kane. Feeds the point. Elevator to Zebra. Solid luck save there. It's a stoppage and a startage now for Ray. Chicago's looking for a better effort than they got in game one. They played well in spits and spurts, but trailing one nothing, this game becomes super important. The Blackhawks win that faceoff. The Whalers are driving it from the wing. Back to the point. Rister from the slot. Can't get it on net. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Under four minutes have passed. We are deadlocked at zero. Chicago's got a face-off win. The Hawks, through the neutral zone, have possession. Cut down on that one. Move not too slick there. Outstanding body contact. Brody's on a mission out there, clearly trying to set the tone physically for his team early in this first period. Pass comes to him from the crease. Let's it go. What a terrific save. Glides along the line. Flings it. Oh, my. That one was way wide. This was a heavy shot, but it had no chance of going in because it missed the net. What a tremendous hit. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. A shot. Good work there in goal. That puck is held, and the whistle stops. The new parking area is now available for additional spots. Hamilton's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Chicago's got a defensive zone win. Pass attempt to Kajula. It's dumped in. Puck is thrown to Williams. Carries it on in from center. That puck came free. Could have been handled back. Can they miss that pass? Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Got his stick on the shot. Good work along the boards. Taken behind by Williams. A little pass from his goalie here. And he steps in. Shoots one. Oh, a close call there. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Seattle's continuing on up the wing. Picks it up back there. And he dumps it in. To point. Looking to Yaskin. Well, we can only hope that the game picks up in pace here. The teams seem to be feeling each other out a little bit. And what's really happening is the puck stays in the middle of the ice. Trying to clear the zone. Moving it to Taves. The Blackhawks skated up on the side. Backhander to the net. Stole that pass. On through the corner. 
And now it's directed to Hoffman. Driving in from no man's land. Gathered up by Kunitz. Chicago's setting up an offense from the wing. It's dumped in. And he's held up against the boards. The Whalers with a neutral zone possession along the way. Fantastic poke check by Seabrook. Solid work there by Alex Steen. A howitzer. Great stick there. Snaps it on to Kane. Stole that pass away in his own end. And he dumps it in. Propelled to Nash. Solid pass ahead to Kunitz. Advanced by this game. Let's it go. Great save. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Grab your tickets for a chance at the grand prize. Keith's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down and he steps up for a huge hit. Chicago's got that face-off win. Cut that pass in his own end. Passing one off now to Perlini. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Gains the zone. Strom slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Seattle's got a two-minute slashing penalty. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Chicago's power play unit gets its first opportunity. First opportunity on the power play comes in a scoreless game. See if they can jump on the board. You're about to see one of the better power plays in the entire league. I sure agree, Eddie. Puck loose, strong defensive play by Nash. Hard work here. Scrum over, puck kicked by Hammond. They've got a long way to go on this one. They can move it fast, but they're up against the clock. Nash is getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. The Blackhawks get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around, and you start to tire them out. Seattle's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Chicago's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. One of the biggest problems on a five on three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Shoots one. A strong pad stop there. Trying to get it back out there. This first period was not one where the tape will go to the Hall of Fame. But maybe periods two and three will resurrect it. Don't know about you, but I've got a lot of ink left here. Few entries, no goals on that scorecard. Seattle's still in this thanks to their goaltender and saves like this one. More in a moment. second period here what did you think of the opening period of our game not a lot going on in that first period doc not a lot of shots on goal but sometimes you got to tip your helmet to the defensive teams with the way they're able to defend from the offensive point of view they got to get more shots to the net and he picks it up directing that one to Debrinkin. 
laid on to Strom. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Still more time killed as they have to drop back and regroup. Tried, but it didn't work. Pitching it to Debrinkin. Gets in, looks over his options here. On to Debrinkin. Terrific shot block in the lane. Cleared it out of there. Smart recovery by Duncan Keith. Trying to go to Kane. Slid to Debrinkin. Shot on. Saved there. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. The Hawks win it. Let's it go. Score! That's his first playoff goal. Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one. Go make it two. The Hawks have been pounding away and pounding away, and finally here in the second, they've gotten the first goal. Chicago's won that faceoff and possession established. That puts loose a good defensive play. Opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. As that measured, the Blackhawks have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Take it away. Waits from the corner. Great stick. No chance on that pass. Decides he wants the corner. Picks it up in his own end. Chip to Murphy. Pitching this one to Perlini. Smart recovery by Saab. Seattle's along the wing at center ice. Let's it go. Not through. Snapping a pass to Gustafson. Puck is thrown to Debrinkin. Propelled to Saad. Good, solid poke check there. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Pretty easy stop. Once he's in the butterfly, he can slide side to side and control the rebound. Over seven minutes completed in the second. Chicago's ahead, 1-0. Clean win on the draw. The Whalers have it at center ice. That one is pointed to him. Skill play by Saw. Gains that offensive line. The glove like lightning. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. A point blast! The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Slot shot, kicked away. Snaps it to Kane. Sends it back the other way, to the half wall. Makes the shot. Wonderful stop. He throws that just for a break. What a shift here, Doc. They had the momentum, but the goalie gets the whistle, and they'll need to reset. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. Pop dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. And he gains the zone. A big one-timer. That hit somebody. 
It's dumped in. Loose puck knocked away by Anisimov. Pass attempt to Williams. Looking to point. Fires and a save. Solid clean win. Chicago's leaving its own end. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock held. Moving it to Hamannick. Up the left side to Gagne. Got that pass in his own end. Gathered up again by Hamannick. And now it's directed to Brody. Seattle's along the wing at center ice. Dealt with in the corner by Brody. A shot. He saved it. Strong save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Chicago's played very well in this tight game. Their goaltender's going to have to stay sharp. He's not had a lot of shots to deal with, Doc. They've got the draw. Passing one off now to Kruger. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Took that away in his own zone. And they've got it again. Directing that one to Saad. Laid on to Taves. Steals that pass at center. They keep working hard on the board. Good work with the stick. Intercepted that one at an important place. Saw it shaking his head after making that pass. He knows better than that. That puck cannot go into that section of the ice. Pitching it to Murphy. Trying to go to Taves. Bumped, loses it. Lugged along the line. The puck heads to neutral zone. And look, it's just like a magnet. Everybody goes there. On to Fleury. Holds in the corner. Didn't get a thing of that. Say, couldn't retain possession. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Pitching this one to Stroll. One minute left. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Blue line control. find the target. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. Two periods are in the books here, and the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. Everything old. Chicago's go-ahead goal in this game came a long time ago. And then the teams battled pretty much on even terms the rest of the way. We'll see what the next period brings about, but for now... Entering the third period, based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Seattle's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Scooped up by Hoffman. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Still on the move in center ice. Let's it go. He got his glove on that one. The 
There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. Good face-off win. A good stick stop. It's an onside play. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Dogged determination there by Saw. Nice work by Zebra. Let's it go. Great glove save. Slid to Kane. To Zebra. Throws it to Keith. Pass across at the point to Saw. Slides it down into the corner. They keep applying the pressure. Good territorial play for them here. Point to point to Zebra. To Kane. Off the glove. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little over four minutes have gone by. The Blackhawks lead 1-0. Nice face-off work. Snapping a pass to Fleury. Pitch straight ahead through center. Puck is thrown to Debrinkin. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. Chip to Fleury. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Pass attempt to Fleury. A good, solid pass, and they can move ahead up that right wing. Propelled to Debrinkin. At an angle to Murphy. Up to the point. Great cut. Quick wrister. Robbery there. Kajula's slashed on the play, and there'll be a penalty coming up. Seattle's got a minor for slashing. Well, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Chicago's power play has been effective, and it gets another opportunity right here. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. That pass along the boards from the outside. Great save. This is a timely whistle, Doc. The goalie finally gets that puck after a lot of pressure in the zone. Defensive zone win. Loose puck couldn't drag it through. And that one has cleared more time off that penalty clock as they drop back and wait for another rush. The Blackhawks with possession in the neutral zone. Good pass off the boards. Has that one measured in his own end. Clears the zone. Chicago's in their own end setting things up. And he steps across the line. Reads the play and keeps it. Not a hard hit, but a fair. Off the mark. He got all the puck on that one, but none of the net. The Whalers are skating it back in their own end. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. The Blackhawks power play unit, good sometimes, not others. And this was one of the others. Oh, my, what a hit. Oh, that is a great hit. I love that hit. In the open ice, you really send a message with one of those. He lugs it backwards. The Blackhawks would like to keep this donut on the board all the way to the end. Their goaltender has been outstanding, and they've had a terrific night. Really good cut of the pass. Skilled play by Brody. The Whalers skated up on the side. In that defensive zone, an important play. And he dumps it in. Sent that pass on ahead. Cut off that pass in the neutral zone. It's dumped in. Laid on to Brody. That puck's loose, deflected away by Saab. 
slid back across from one point to the other. Seattle's in their own end, lugging it along. Let's it go. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Our attendance, another sold out game. The team would like to thank you for your continued over. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Face-off win here. Oh, what a wonderful block that was. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Looking to point. In with it now. Goalie to the bench. Extra attacker out. It is a penalty call, and this could be huge in this game. Will it be decided on the power play? Strom's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. No, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Whalers get their first power play of the game, and it is big. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Gathered up again by Anisimov. Shot into the path. Moving it to Steen. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Terrific determination by Alex Steen. He takes that point pass. Shoots. Deflected off the blocker. Goes for it. Stop! A rookie. First ever in the playoffs. Disappointed. You don't get many shutouts, and when you get this deep into a game, you can't help but think about it. Just under three minutes remaining here in the third. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. On to Kane. Puck loose just to speed bump off the defense. A shot. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Crawford's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Directed to Fleury. To Hughes. Late in the game, the outcome is still in doubt. A bumpy rides ahead. In the third period. Takes it and looks. A big collision there. Love the physical play. He takes his man right into the boards with a solid hit. Takes that pass. Couldn't do what he wanted. Read that play in his own end. Fires! That's a solid save. And freezes play. Murphy's shoulder is right through the opposing player. That is a great hit. Coming up is the largest play in this game so far. The largest play. It's a draw. An enormous defensive face-off win. Passing one off now to Debrinkin. Points it. Got that pass in his own end. Crosses that line. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Directing that one to Keith. Gives it over to the point. Slid to Debrinkin. Save! He just stopped one of the 
down fast. And the game is over. Overtime is next. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendar. They're available in Section 144 at the team. Hughes' goal has sent us to overtime, and that period will begin in just a moment. They're underway in overtime. Who's the hero going to be? Shoots one. Collected by Taves. Whoa, what a play! The Whalers are at the wing in neutral ice. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. Let's it go. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game, and the power play unit comes out. Chicago's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Kane's not known for taking many penalties. Last year's Lady Bing winner takes his first penalty of the year. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Solid win of the draw. What a ripper from the point! He was standing in the lane and got some up. Tries to clear, and that one cleared by the penalty killers. He gains the zone. Chip to Hamilton. Perfect receipt of the pass. Save there. A whistle and a rest. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was because that shot had no chance of going in. zone win gives it to the point fires got a stick on it and the referee's whistle has stopped play good set up off the win Great reaction there. That's a good defensive stick there. Pitching it to Kruger. Can he generate something from there? Gives it on a cross from the point. Just walking the tightrope. A free roadblock by Jonathan Taves. The Blackhawks kill off a hugely important penalty. Kruger's tripped up. That should be a penalty. A huge moment in the game. Could it swing on this penalty? Brody's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Hawks have experienced both sides of the power play. Scoring and not. This is the one they need to score on, and it begins now. Trying to go to Hamonic. Clear. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Pitching this one to Debrinkin. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Cleared it out of there. Power play time running. It's collected by Duncan Keith. 
Gathered up again by Hammond. Bodied off the puck. Wonderful stop. A bit over five minutes have been skated here in overtime. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Chicago's quick on the draw. He's got it on his stick. He wants to clear it out of the zone. Power play meter is running right now. The puck taken by Keith. He is able to move on in. He's got that pass at the point. Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. Not able to do that well. Got it back out of the zone. Chicago's power play was getting ready to end this in overtime, but their time is up. Got it in his own end. Terrific determination by Fleury. Slides it to the point. Receives that pass from the other side. Great save. Oh, the goalie was screened on that shot. You got to rely on your positioning to make that save. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. Taves with an important faceoff win just when one was needed. The Blackhawks have it up the wing. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Save! Close in play. Amazing save. The Whalers with possession up the wing. Outstanding hitting in this game. There's an example. There was a pretty good boom when they went into the boards. That is a solid hit. Seattle's leaving the defensive zone. Forcing attention in deep to Seabrook. Snapping a pass to Taves. Sends to the point. Has that point pass as well. Oh, and the puck winds up back at center ice. Man. Back in his defensive end to get it. And he dumps it in. Puck is thrown to Steen. He gets that pass ahead in stride. The battling continues along the boards. Leads that charge into the zone. Look at this chance. Kicked away. Long pass up the wing to Steen. Propelled to Yaskin. Has it back deep. The Hawks look to make a difference up the wing. Nicely received at the point. Score! And the overtime is finished. Game over, series tied. Both teams with reasons for confidence. Both teams with reasons for repair. We're back on even terms, Doc, and this series is up for grabs. You always have to know where the puck is on the ice. Be ready, and he one-timed it in. I think he should be able to shut this off. The goalie gets down into the position to stop the puck. He just doesn't get the blocker there in time. Playoff hockey always is special. We hope this one was for you. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.